Since the Arbor's resurrection, the land has been crawling with abominations. <laughs> Even the Artisanship Commission's prized creation furnace is hanging on by a thread. The crisis happened too suddenly. All the craftsmen and apprentices fled. Only a single master craftsman was left to hold the line until reinforcements arrived. That's how the creation furnace was saved. Interesting. Stubborn beyond valuing his own life. <laughs> that reminds me of an extremely arrogant acquaintance. If he were to see the chaos of the Artisanship Commission today, he would burst into laughter at the Sienjo's incompetence. What's that supposed to mean? What's wrong with saving your own life and waiting for the Cloud Knights to arrive? And yet where were the Cloud Knights when danger was at the door? From what I heard, it was a group of Outworlders that came to the rescue. The Lafu's Delves are big places. Besides, some of the troops were deployed to the Yao Qing's campaign. The Cloud Knights were spread thin. It was impossible to guard everywhere at once. <laughs> Young man, why don't we continue our previous contest? Show me whether the sword techniques you are so proud of have improved. You just want me to do all the work. You think I'm gonna grant endless requests for a criminal? You go on ahead this time. We'll meet up at the Creation Furnace. Why did you send him away? It is of no importance. But you and I haven't had a decent contest in ages. <sighs> I don't plan on fighting. I'm not asking you to point your spear at me. Could it be that the abominations here aren't enough to motivate you? The moon shines on the truth. Even after your rebirth, your moves and techniques haven't changed one bit. When I move, it's like... Like you never forgot. To guard and defend! Crush them! Come on already! <laughs> what took you so long this time? Don't get anxious and buy bitter Lune. We have all the time in the world. Something's not right. Emotion. This spear still recognizes you as its master. In Bibiter Lune, do you know who crafted it for you? It's been with me ever since my exile. I don't remember when I started wielding it. You can continue to convince yourself that you are merely the reincarnation of Don Fung and have nothing to do with his sins. And you can keep insisting that you have forgotten everything. But you cannot run from combat, Don Hung. Your spearmanship is identical to Inbibitor Lunae's. Combat is like smelting. Purging the impurities with burning flames and exposing a person's true nature. Those are the words of the one who made Cloud Piercer for you. <laughs> Do you remember? Out of all of us, you were the closest to him. It was strange, really, to see someone so arrogant get along with someone so proud. This spear is sharp enough to pierce dragon scales. Be careful, High Elder, lest you hurt yourself with it. Huh. Ying Xing. 
You still remember his name. When he was but a child, he swore to take revenge on the abominations. That's what drove him to travel across the stars to the Sienjo, to receive training. When I first met him, he wasn't even as tall as my sword. But he was boasting about mastering all the crafts of the Artisanship Commission by the time he was a hundred years old. <laughs> the little brat was no less arrogant than the High Elder. At first, I wasn't too fond of his defiant nature. But when we met again, he was able to craft weapons that astonished the Master Craftsman. He even snatched the Artisanship Commission title of Furnace Master. Unfortunately, the Alliance would never allow a short-life species to run the Artisanship Commission. He was only able to prove his worth alongside us outcasts in the end. You didn't go easy just so I would get here first, did you? Of course not. Your technique must have improved so much that I simply couldn't keep up with you. Hmm. So, uh, are we here to commemorate your short life species friend? Eavesdropping is a bad habit. Besides, when did I ever say he was no longer in this world? <laughs> Even the cryocapsules wouldn't be able to extend the life expectancy of a short life species for long. If he is still alive, he must be ancient. <gasps> Ying Xing is... is still alive? Of course he's still alive. But he might be better off dead. Some people are born with unparalleled foresight and exceptional intelligence, but make the most ill-advised choices at Destiny's crossroads. As smart as he was, he made the foolish attempt to use the flesh of the Abundance Emanator to aid in Bibiter Lune in resurrecting his deceased companion. His stupidity turned him into a monster, cursed with immortality. His soul was shattered and became the evil that he hated most. The irony. Ugh, for an old friend, you don't seem to have that much pity. I gave him a second chance. Does that not count? What did you do to him? He should have been eternally jailed in the shackling prison for his crimes. But I gave him a different kind of freedom. I took the shell that once held his soul and passed my sword techniques on to him. I let him die a hundred deaths to remind him of the karma of his previous life. Afterward, I heard he was reborn, and even gave himself a name. <laughs> We've idled too long. Let's head to the Alchemy Commission. <laughs> <laughs>